Now we're going to use our interest payment. Once again, we only want interest payments to appear in the months 1 to 48, or in other words, the months related to the actual loan period. So we will now come up with a uh, formula that tests whether we were beyond the life of the loan. If so, put in a blank. If not, uh, put in the actual monthly interest. So I'm going to go here and sell B21 equals if A21 equals blank, meaning we're beyond the life of the loan, then put in a blank as the monthly payment, the interest payment, because there's no interest payment necessary beyond the loan life. And then put in a comma, and w this would be the false, meaning we're still within the life of the loan, and we want to go up and pick up the uh, monthly interest. Okay, so if we've got that, we have to end the parentheses. Every beginning of a parentheses, a left parentheses, have to, has to have a right parentheses, and we hit enter. Since we have um, something in each of these cells all the way down to row 380, I can move my cursor to the bottom right-hand corner of this new formula I wrote and double-click, and that's now been copied all the way down. You see it'll go to 48 and then stop, but the formula, as you can see up here, is still um, in these cells. It just is coming up blank, and it goes all the way down. If I go end down, I'm in row 380, it still has that formula. So I hope you're getting the idea here. Uh, the nice thing is that I can now change the life of this loan, and uh, the numbers will appear for any length of loan uh, necessary. End up. And now we need to come up with principal. Principal is the same idea. Now, what we need, want to do is we want to write, write an if-then statement that will bring in uh, a principal amount only on the very last month of the life of the loan. Well, in this case, the very last month of the life of the loan is 48. Well, how can we test that? Here's an if-then statement that will do that for you. So activate cell C21. And in cell C21, we're going to write an if-then statement. If A21, so in other words, if the current month is equal to, we're going to go up and say the loan period in years times 12. So in other words, if the current month is equal to the total number of months, in the whole life of the loan, then type into this particular cell the principal amount. If not, meaning if we're in any other period, any other month, other than the very last month of life loan, put in a double blank. Put in a double, put in a blank, and hit enter. So as you can see, I do have a formula in here, but since it's not in the 48th month, it puts in a blank. Total payments, We once again, we have to make sure that we're not uh, putting in a total payments amount in periods beyond, in months beyond the life of the loan. So we'll have to come up with a formula for that one as well. To do that, just activate cell D21. And in cell D21, we're going to do an if-then statement. If A21 is equal to blank, double quote, double quote, then double quote, double quote. In other words, if no month appears, then we must be beyond the life of the loan, and therefore you shouldn't compute total payments. Uh, so that would be the true option. False option would be to add up total payments. So we're going to pick up last month's payment plus the sum of this month's payments, and we need to end the if-then statements. So these two parentheses match over the sum, and then these two parentheses match on the if-then. Okay, so that should work. Um, all these cells do have values in them, so we can put our cursor here to the bottom right, double-click. Oops. Let's go ahead and drag this. Um, just put your cursor in the bottom right-hand corner and drag it all the way down to 380, and uh, that should be good. Now, where should that uh, total payments computation start? Stop. It should stop in row uh, 48, in payment 48, and it does, and that looks good. Now, what I don't see is that we haven't copied down the um, principal amount. 
we came up with this formula. That's why when I tried to copy this down, uh, it didn't work, is because there were no cells over here to tell it when to stop. So I, I will. Uh, I have this formula here in row C21. I'm going to put my cursor in the bottom right, double click, and we should see our principal payment showing up in row 48. There it is, and uh, we got it. So let's go back and check our check figure. That was Control Home. Check figure comes out to be zero. Uh, if you notice before, uh, if I had uh, if I didn't have this in uh, C68 there, if that were not there, we would have come up here and we would have realized that our check figure didn't match and that we had a problem. So I'm just going to drag that down again just to make sure we got it. And now uh, Control Home back and we're uh, reconciled.